Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another unboxing video. Today's unboxing, I'm going to be taking a look with you guys on unboxing uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League Trilogy. Now this is something I picked up around Christmas time uh, from Amazon. It was in a sale. It's normally, I think it's about £25. Um, and it was on sale, I think it was 14 pound or something like that i think anyway um so i picked it up because i got some like some amazon vouchers for christmas um now while i do have each of these individually and i'll show you now um i've got batman versus superman dawn of justice like the ultimate edition in like a media book um or a digi book whatever you want to call it uh, which i'm going to keep i do like that and I do have Man of Steel in this pack. Uh, in like a steel book with two figurines. Which I'm considering actually doing an unboxing for this. Because I don't believe I've ever done one. So if you would like to see an unboxing for this. Let me know in the comments if it's something that you're interested in. Um, so I've got that. So I'm going to keep those two. But those are kind of more like collector's things. So I wanted like something that I could put on my shelf. So when I feel like watching these films, these this is the one that I'll put on. And I do have Zack Snyder's Justice League as well. But I think it's just like the normal Blu-ray release that's downstairs somewhere. So I'll move that one on. So I like having neat, tidy box sets for a lot of stuff. Um, especially when they're kind of this size. Nice and easy to store. Um, put on your shelf sort of thing. They don't take up a lot of space. Um, so I was pretty, pretty happy to pick this one up, to be honest. Um, it comes in the slipcase like that. So we'll take the slipcase off um, and then we'll get it opened in a minute. Now, just to make it clear as well, guys. Okay, so you do get Man of Steel uh, there. You get uh, Batman versus Superman, uh, but it is the Ultimate Edition, which is obviously the far superior edition. And just to be clear, it is Zack Snyder's Justice League you get on this, not the Joss Whedon one. Um, if you were wondering, you may not, because it, it does say Zack Snyder's Justice League trilogy on the box set. But some, there may be somebody out there that prefers the Joss Whedon one to the Zack Snyder one. Probably in the minority, but you never know. So that's that. And that's that at the back there. Uh, each of them... Um, it doesn't tell you what extras they come with unless that's inside. But I suspect they'll all come with some decent extras. Uh, let me see if I can get this elephant off. Get that off. Always satisfying. So let's open it up. Well, there's no leaflet to tell you what extras there are. But there's quite a few discs. So you get... Man of Steel, there. Uh, then you get Batman vs. Superman um, Ultimate Edition, there. And then you get... Alright, oh, that's why there's four discs. Yeah, I forgot. You get Justice League, Disc 1. And then you get Justice League, Disc 2. I don't know why they put it on two discs, because I'm sure they could have fitted it on one. But, you know, who knows really why they made these decisions sometimes. But yeah, it's not, it doesn't give specifics. Um, I'm trying to see now. I can't see uh, what extras it's going to give you. Maybe it's just the vanilla editions, but I suspect there will be extras on there. Uh, but I'm not overly bothered about that because um, I do have, obviously these other versions that i showed you this one for example comes with three discs as you can see with loads of special features and this one uh, the digibook media book again comes with absolutely loads of extras so i'm not worried about that um so yeah guys that is zack snyder's justice league if like me you like to have a nice tidy box set that's going to kind of tie up the trilogy unfortunately it certainly doesn't look like we're going to be getting the conclusion to Zack Snyder's Justice League um which I think is a real shame I think the shake-up of DC for the most part is a mistake I think they could have done soft 
reboot to some of the characters and some of the storylines, but certainly kept. I think, um, certainly, I think Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, and Gal Gadot, and um, obviously uh, Jason Momoa. But there's no word yet on whether Jason Momoa's out. I've just heard recently that <laughs> they're keeping the guy who plays Flash, which is bizarre when you consider all the trouble he's got himself into. But I don't know. Let's just see what the DC future holds. I'm a little bit sceptical, which is a real shame because I do look up. I, I, I do prefer the DC films or the DC superheroes to many of the Marvel ones. I just think they're more iconic. Um, so I've got my fingers crossed for the future of the DC films, but let's just wait and see. But thankfully, I think we did get three very, very good films here, especially with the ultimate version of Batman vs Superman and the Justice League. Zack Snyder's Justice League film. I think there's three excellent DC films right there, which I'm very happy with. So thanks for joining me, guys, for this unboxing. Um, and, of course, stay tuned for the channel for loads more content.